Hey, what is going on guys? I'll do a quick update for you here. I did get the tanks moved to the new spot. I just moved them today. Uh, I did have someone watching them for a week and I had a bunch of algae. Well, you can still see it. I still don't have my rocks set up exactly the way I want them. Uh, like I said, uh, the algae, I got a lot of algae issues now. Which is, I guess, what I get for letting someone else watch my tank for a week. And these were covered in algae. I just scraped them off. It's been set up for about two hours now, probably running. Uh, all the fish are doing good. They're all alive, except for squirrel fish. I do not think he's going to make it. I mean, I've picked him up, moved him around. He, he's been breathing heavy. He can't even swim. He's lost a lot of color. I don't know, man. It sucks because he was my favorite fish. I've had him the longest, almost two years now. And uh, I just don't think he's going to make it. I actually picked him up and set him there and set him upright so he could breathe better. I don't know. He is a fighter. He's been through some shit since I've had him. He's I know, quite a big fish, too. Quite large. He's probably seven, eight inches. But yeah, there's Coral Beauty, uh, there's that wrasse, both my gold nuggets are fine, my flame angel, there's the other, uh, this wrasse here, the red tail, I left him and the squirrel fish actually in the tank with, I don't know, an inch or so of water, just enough for them to swim in, and moved the tank that way because I couldn't catch those guys, there's the flame angel. The Blenny, I don't know where he's at, but he's alive and well. I seen him in here a little bit ago. Uh, as you can see, corals are opening, which is I'm pretty impressed with that since, you know, the move and all. Uh, except for this guy, he's not opening, but, you know, he's toes to They do what they want to do. Um, step back and give you a little setup shot. That's just kind of what I got going on for now. I'm, I'm probably going to have to change it because I really had to stretch a lot of these wires to get them to over here. Uh, and then I got the other tank on this side. No problems with this one. I uh, did the um, coral banded shrimp I had in here. He did die. He died this morning. Don't know why. Uh, Huma Huma bit both of his pinchers off when I had them in the uh, little styrofoam container when I was bringing them all over here. So uh, I'm assuming that's probably why he died, but I woke up this morning and he was dead. But uh, these guys are doing great. Uh, let's back over to the big tank. Oh yeah, squirrel fish, man. I knew I should have took him out of there. The thing is, is he's hard to catch with a dip net because he has scales like a dragon would. I've mentioned it in previous videos. But uh, they're really hard to, you can't really catch them in nets because they get stuck to the net. So I figured, well, I'll just leave enough water in him for for him to swim around. And that other wrasse, that wrasse there, I couldn't even find him. I left uh, this big rock here. I left it in. Uh, that was the only rock I left in. All the other ones I did take out. And stuck them in buckets when I carried them over. Uh, it took about three hours to get everything set back up. Hell no, maybe two. But, you know, everybody's doing good except for the squirrel fish. I did just want to do a quick update for you guys. Let you know that I did move everything. Uh, man, I'm sad about this one. I don't want to lose him, but I don't know what to do, guys. I'm pretty sure he's a goner. Like I said, he can't swim. I'll stick, him, uh, stick my hand in there now and try and pick him up. You can see his red fin come up, but which is poisonous, by the way. But, I mean... As you guys can see, he's he's breathing, but he's not moving. I mean, he'll just float away. I don't know what to do. I'm really, really nervous, really scared. I'm going to lose this guy. Like I said, I've had him about two years. Can't prop him back up. Oh, this thing here. So he can breathe a little better. But yeah, you shouldn't be able to just pet a fish. You know, he should be swimming away like crazy, but 
I'm afraid he's a goner, man. I'm not happy at all about it. He was my buddy. Like I said, I've had him for over two years, or about two years now. He was just a baby when I bought him, and he's grown to this big, and you can see he's just, he's not even trying to fight it. Ugh. It's sad to watch, man. I don't know what to do. I think he's a goner. Right, he's got a little bit of fight there. I'll crop him back up. Come here, little buddy. Come on. You're all right. Just don't get me with your little fins. Set against the rock. Don't fight it. Just chill, dude. Just chill there, buddy. Sad day, guys. Uh, afraid I'm gonna lose him. Lose him. floating back the other way again see he just can't even I don't even feel like recording this, this is just it's just sad all right guys well I'm gonna get off here this is just want to shoot a little quick update let you know I did move the tanks I hope squirrel fish pull through but I highly doubt it uh leave a like if you did you can always subscribe if you want got any comments put them down below I know I'm gonna get hate about the squirrel fish and showing him dying on camera or whatnot but I could really care less. He was my buddy. He was my best fish. And it is what it is, man. Uh, remember, guys, happiness is a reef tank. Uh, hope to see you on the next one. Peace.